Well, I'm back. <laughs> you know, yesterday I couldn't watch the whole video because, man, he was just so wrong. Yep. Wrong! 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 You ever watch that McLaughlin? Years and years ago, back in the 80s and 90s. Wrong! <laughs> just, wrong! <laughs> Anytime he would start speaking, wrong! You wouldn't even listen to him. He'd, wrong! You know, he'd be sitting on couches on each side, and he'd be sitting in the chair. Wrong! Well, that's all I could do. Was to contain myself. So, yeah, I was watching Greg, Greg Manorino's video about the ports, and I'm telling you, he's wrong. The reason he's wrong is, well, I don't, I don't like that, 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 anybody that can't grow a beard, they just, they just can't be trusted like that, you know, so. He's wrong. Say, can't tell you why he's wrong. He's just wrong. Okay. He's wrong. Why? Because I don't like his beard. He's wrong. Oh, okay. So I don't like his beard. He's wrong. Yes. Oh, okay. How about Orange Man? What about Orange Man? He's orange. He's wrong. Don't like him either. Harris. What about Harris? Oh, well, in her day she was a looker. She's 60 now. Okay. You know what's funny about that? It's this. <coughs> Trump is going to get into office and get us into war. Trump is going to ruin the economy. He's going to become a dictator. I could go on and on and on with the list of shit people say about him. They don't like him because he's orange, they say. Or his hair looks funny. Or some bullshit like that. You know what's funny? is everything they said about him is a lie. Turned out to be a lie, all right? History has told us what they said about him is a lie. None of that happened, did it? Next guy that comes into office, good old Joel. Well, what happens? <laughs> everything they said that Trump was going to do, he's done. He has far, far surpassed anything Trump was supposed to have done. He has us not one war, but two or three, and economic wars. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you, ask, if you ask the world, he's got us on the brink of nuclear destruction. Financial destruction. You're losing your rights left and you don't have any rights, okay? I mean, this is what's so funny. Can't say why Trump's wrong. Can't say why Greg's wrong. But you can sure lie about everything, can't you? You can't come with any thoughts, any processes. No, can't do that, can you? <clears throat> Was the economy going to uh, do what it did? Well, they usually say it, it's a lag effect, you know, 16 to 18 months. Usually it takes for the economic picture to run its course. Well, it could even be faster than that, just because with all the computers and 
devices and things we have. It could it could even be faster than that. It could be 12 months for all we know. But you see, your hatred for people. gets in the way of your objectivity. You got a bunch of rebellious people out there that say, well, men can have babies. And men can compete in women's sports. Well, they can, but it's not fair. That's been proven a fact. Because they're rebellious. They don't like to be told what to do, when to do, nothing. They're rebellious. What does God say we are? We're, we're rebellious. And judgment will come upon us because we're rebellious. We don't listen. We got shit for brains. Just like the rest of these people. You want to say Greg's wrong, Trump's wrong, this and that. They got shit for brains. See, we're just men. We're going to make mistakes. We're not going to get it right all the time. Hell, we're lucky we get it right a fraction of the time. But to run around judging people by their beard or by their color, by their politics, sexual preference, any of that stuff is wrong. We have some damn good people in Congress. And we got some damn pieces of shit in Congress. And you, and you vote for somebody because, well, I hate that person, so I'm going to vote for this one. But you can't be objective enough to stand back. Check out the facts yourself. you got to be led around by the snout. See, you don't think for yourself. Let somebody else do it for you. Just like these woke people. <clears throat> you see somebody out there with red or green or purple hair or whatever, and you just assume they're, they're, they're in the crowd of the woke people. And not necessarily so. They, they like to put color in their hair. I personally don't care. I mean, you know. That's fine. The one guy I think's funny. He gets on this Trump commercial. Trump's just disingenuous. He's not honest. He's not this. He's not that. Oh, really? This coming from a pale white guy that dyes his eyebrows brown, well, kind of a reddish brown, and dyes his hair reddish brown. And he's talking about being disingenuous. Buddy, you're vain. And your head's stuck so far up your ass. You, you can't see the light of day. You can't hear the truth. You never will. You're an idiot. And these other people. No, oh, Trump said these, these, uh, uh, what was it? The, uh, people in the military are suckers and whatever else. He never said that. It's all bullshit again. Bet you want to repeat it because you're an idiot.
the other thing's this. Get this woman on there. Oh, Trump's a felon. He's a felon. Oh, okay. Somebody came in with some trumped up bullshit that didn't even, they had to make shit up and lie about it just to even get the case heard, and the case is all bullshit to begin with. And, and, oh, Kamala, she's a prosecutor. She's so, she's so, oh, she's so for the law. She's, 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 she's just the opposite of Donald. Yep. Stormy Daniels would screw Donald to get, advance her career. Well, I'll put it this way. Look at Stormy Daniels in her heyday. Donald's a lucky guy. I mean, most guys would look at Stormy Daniels and go, wow, lucky guy. You know? It's kind of like uh, these, these female teachers and, 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 you know, they quote molested boys. <laughs> most of the guys are looking like, man, I wish I had a teacher that looked like that. Yeah, lucky kid. <laughs> I mean, that's how it works, man. But nobody wants to tell the truth. Now we're more, <clears throat> we're more protective of our daughters, and rightfully so, because they're built different. Their 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 minds are different. I mean, they're just different. If you had boys and you've had girls, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There, there, there are some exceptions. Don't get me wrong. There always is. But yeah. You just got to remember, you know, you can be a fool your whole life. Or, you can stand on your own two feet. And stand for something. Instead of just a bunch of stupid lying bullshit. Anybody that checks the truth out, they're looking at all these people like you're a bunch of fools. You're an idiot. And you get on TV and make a bigger fool an idiot of yourself. I wonder how many of your neighbors go, oh, that was Helen down the street. Hey, you see her? Yeah, she's in there saying Trump, blah, 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 blah. Uh, did you see that? Ah! She's an idiot! Right. They don't want to talk to you. They don't want to associate with you. All your neighbors are talking about you. You should just move. You should move away now. Even though wherever you move, you're going, you know, you look like that guy that did that commercial. Oh, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. I better dye my, my eyebrows a different color in my hair. And get some, and, and get some, go outside and get some fucking color. You know? Probably got hands like a woman. Calluses? What the hell is that? You don't know what that is. You know, it's like to have dirt under your fingernails. You know, it's like to get your hands and finger, everything cut up. You, you don't know what it's like. Yeah, am I being hard on these people? Yeah, because they're idiots. You know, if Jesus came down right now and said, Hey, I don't like your videos, boy. You're all, you're all screwed up. You're an idiot. You're a moron. And you lie. I say, well, first, my first question would be to prove to me you're Jesus. 
When he proves to be Jesus, I'll say, yes, sir. I'm an idiot, and I'm a liar and everything else. I'd agree with him, and I'd stop doing what I did. But I just wouldn't take his word for it. I would question. You don't question, see? You just take people's word for crap. Don't take my word for shit. Don't listen to me at all. I mean, come on, people. The world's full of full of a bunch of dim cattle and sheep and everything else. They've been led around to the snout, and then where do they get led? To the slaughter. To the slaughter. You just pray. That's all you are. You just pray. Nothing but pray. And they pray on you every single day. Ain't that so? I mean, I put it this way. Is, is Kamala all evil? I don't know her. Never met the lady. I mean, you know, you, you meet her face to face, she may be the nicest person you ever met in your life. You know, same thing with Biden and the rest of them. Maybe the nicest people you ever met. Don't know, don't know. So, just don't take their word for it. Oh, he's a liar. He's a liar. He's not telling the truth. He's not a liar. He's, not a, he's a liar. He's lying. Do I get paid now? Make it cash. See how that works? Did those people get paid to do this commercial? Did they get paid to say that stuff? Anybody ask that question? No. Nobody asks that question. What's their motive? They just don't like him. The guy's done more good for people and individual people, and I'm talking about Trump right now, than I've seen for most people. Here's a guy that walks in. Feed everybody. Feed them. Yeah, here, you stay back. You get the bill and, and, and pay it. He feeds everybody. He just walks in. Hey, ice cream cone. Everybody with ice cream. <laughs> here, pizza, pizza, pizza. Everyone, yeah, yeah, just order up your sandwich, whatever. Yeah. I'll pay for it. Mechanic stopped. His level broke down. He thought, boy, that's a nice guy. He stopped to help. Everybody else just drove on by. Man, what can I do for that guy? Oh, I'll pay off his mortgage. Donald Trump. Would you pay off a guy's mortgage for stopping helping you? Get your head out of your ass, people. You're condemning someone. That so far, I haven't seen anything he's done wrong. Oh. Yeah, he had a weak moment because of some... I mean, maybe some people think Stormy Daniels is ugly. I'll bet there's a lot more guys out there that think she's a pretty hot number. Just like Kamala, when she was younger. She's a hot number.
takes you a long ways. Especially when there's perks. I think I'll stop there because I could get a lot worse and vulgar and a whole bunch of other stuff. You don't need to listen to that. <laughs> and people, I'm going to sign off like this. At least buy a can of doesn't matter what. Put it in the pantry in the front of the store before you leave. If everybody did that, those pantry boxes would be full every day. Full. Same thing with animals, the Humane Society stuff. Maybe maybe suggest to the store manager or somebody, hey, maybe you should put a little bo another box out here for the Humane Society. And when it gets full, give them a call and come pick it up. That way people don't have to actually run over the Humane Society and drop it off. It's like a tour bag of food. The store can say, well, hell, man, don't even mark that down. Just, just tape it up and throw in that box over there for the Humane Society. Oh. We got some dented up uh, cans of cat food, dog food. Yeah, just throw them in there. Yeah, we'll give that to you in society too. And people can buy things and put it in the box. Remember the animals. So yeah, people. Instead of giving lip service, put your money uh, where your mouth is. It's fine to stand on the sidelines. God doesn't like it so much. He'll spat you out. But, he gave you free will too. Hot or cold, man. Hot or cold.